So, welcome my fish lovers to Sax Tax. We got another episode of Sax Swim Tales today. So obviously that wasn't the, my best take, but now you know why I call myself crazy. So you got that anyway. <laughs> So, fish lovers, my brother also ordered a custom made tank, but other dimensions than I did, and another background. Same brand as I use, but these are the more expensive backgrounds, the 3D backgrounds. And we have been working on this tank today, and in my opinion, it looks awesome. It's a 125 gallon tank. It's really wide front to back. And the reason for that is that it's perfect for African cichlids. And I think this tank looks awesome. And of course, we are brothers, so he also loves huge filtration. If you want huge filtration, can't go any other way than the Eheim XL. It's a massive filter. And we can hide everything in the background. And I'm gonna go back to him and do a fish room tour if you guys want to see that. He has more aquariums and they look pretty good. Hello Kingpin, I think he knows what's up. Yes, you're the star of the video now. You're gonna get your apple snails, really loves them. It's kind of been a... <laughs> it's kind of been in a bad mood the last couple of weeks when I give him the crayfish because he wants the Apple snails likes them better. Yep, those beaks you can scratch the glass with those sometimes. Don't do that in the new tank. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun moving him to a bigger tank. So I can have this tank densely planted. Keep the African cichlids in here. So, oh, sorry about that. But let's feed him. Should I put it away a little bit? Oh. Really drop the camera there. He sees it. Don't worry, guys, I have more. Yep, favorite snack. It's obvious. It can be like that if you change the food a lot, but I don't want to feed my fish the same type of food all their lives. Even though they're growing or they look good, it's got to be the same with all animals. They need different kinds of food, different kinds of uh, vitamins, different kinds of nutrients. Sorry guys, 
course someone called during the video making I always forget to turn cell phone on flight mode you missed your snail so you you didn't you didn't miss it Mr. Kingpin missed his snail it's right behind you man Oh, I can put in another one and see if you will find the other one then. There you go. Yep. Sorry, using the new tripod for the first time, so Yep, four apple snails or mystery snails. I think these are actually apple snails, but if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google it. Mystery snails are called mystery snails for obvious reason. <laughs> They're not really sure because they there are so much snails that are so alike look so much like each other so King Ping is full mission completed swim tails ending or beginning is finished for me <laughs> see you in the next bit guys so it's 5 a.m. and I can't sleep so I thought of an idea <laughs> Maybe that's why I can't sleep. So I've been keeping uh, giant ramsors in here. And the biggest reason I started to breed them was that I need some snails. Or I can just buy snails, but I want to breed my own snails for my Fahaka Puffer. And they breed like crazy, as you can see. Thousands of eggs, but only about one snail will make it to adult size so something isn't good enough in this tank so I'm actually gonna move five of them into the tub because I'm no longer keeping the surprise go surprise new fish in here and I just poured in a bunch of crushed coral and all the moss balls from the 145 gallon is actually in here you can see them but there's a lot so I'm gonna see if the crushed coral helps me enough to breed them and keep them alive so if they're gonna continue to breed and lay as much eggs as they do in that tank but the fry or the eggs will hatch and survive in this tank I will get more than I need and giant ram's horns are actually pretty expensive also so if I get too much I can sell them so this is something I'm gonna try it's a sponge filter in here also uh, so this is a whole new setup for them really cloudy and dirty looking now because I poured in the crushed coral but we'll see see if it will, fo if it will focus on this I just walked past the tank and come on is it too small? 
Uh, at least you can see the color. Sorry, sorry for this. But the Black Rose has th thrown out a really good looking blue dream. It's a tiny shrimp, so apparently you can't focus on it. It looks really good. So enough about that. No one wants to watch a blurry picture. So let's have a look at the mystery fish I bought. He is going to cycle the tank for me. So the tank is a lot. <laughs> it's a big fish. The tank is still cloudy. But it's better to cycle a tank with the fish than without. Even though I put in more than two pounds of ceramic media, it still goes a lot faster if you cycle it with the fish. But you need to keep an eye on it. This fish is going to look amazing. It came from a tub. A 100 gallon tub with about 150 goldfish in it. And if he looks good, he was the biggest one in the tub. So that's how you know he will be a strong specimen. Now I don't want to jinx it by talking so much great things about him, but like I said, I think he will look amazing after I feed him, fed him some quality food and he get much more space. We'll see if he will eat. Maybe not. Just moved him. I know the background. <laughs> Just put a black piece and a lot of air bubbles underneath it. But this tank is going to be a real simple tank because I just need more water space for goldfish. If you're like me and you can't stop buying fish, you need to keep buying tanks also. I'm going to put something more in it because it looks so boring with just sand and a black background but I don't, I'm not sure what I will put in but I'm sure of this I'm not gonna put in something that goldfish can get stuck into so we can take a look at him after a couple of days again So, I moved the sword tails into this tank and they breed a lot slower and are a lot happier. It was too hot for them in the discus tank. But I wanted to try it. I thought if you aerated the water enough and keep it at 29, maybe. But no, they're much happier, happier at 27. Degrees Celsius. That's what I'm talking about. And the gap is a doodle weight as well. A little turtle guy. Thinks it's food. No food in coming now. Sorry. And if you wonder why the scape looks different every time you watch this tank, the turtles are that strong. They move these huge pieces of driftwood with not move them intentionally, but with their backs when they want to dig underneath the driftwood. <laughs> they always want to hide underneath the wood. When they do that a couple of times, five turtles, they totally rescape my tank all the time. 
and they destroy plants but I, I have talked about that a lot but <laughs> oh, these crazy buggers one is basking now when he sees me he's like should I go down? gonna bother him so Swartail is much happier in here this guy has been in here for nine days now it looks a lot better you can see how agile it is and responds to the feeding begs for food like they should but I'm afraid he's stunted because he has really big mouth and eye to the what do you call it eye to body ratio and my Ryukin has joined him as well but he looks much better nine days after the last little video when I put him in so I'm gonna show you again after about two weeks more so we can capture the difference when I feed in great food and keep clean water instead of living in a tub with 150 other goldfish and in here you can see the fork tail rainbows the males are starting to color up I need another fluorescent light in here this light, I love this light for the color of the water and the plants but 10,000 Kelvin isn't the best for rainbows that are yellow and slightly red they're gonna look like uh, more gray colored so I'm gonna change that next time to another one it's only one T8 light bulb in here so this is really low light easily my least my mess, most low lighted tank of m all my tanks but you can see cryptocorns actually prefer that light I think it looks great in here and there is an Anubias angustfolia they grow so 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 slow that's why I sh uh, chose them for the new 145 gallon scape because you can scape with these plants and they will look the same and just have twice as many leaves after a year but they won't grow tall very fast or grow big it takes a long time in my opinion they grow even slower than other Anubias but I think they look great so and here's my own rainbows some of you have heard the story before that driftwood piece was in the rainbow tank and I moved it into this tank and then suddenly I saw two super small fry that didn't look like guppy fries I still don't know which, ki which kinds they are. Could be Bosmani, Irian Red, and Blue in a weird mix. Not sure. But I have two of them. I need to move them when they get too big because they're gonna eat the guppy fry. And my koi guppy, or they were sold to me as mini pergol mini pearl guppies something about the name koi that really spooks the people that works on the border goldfish and koi special rules because they can survive in our climate in the wild so they call them different things that was the reason why they didn't call them koi guppies here but I got four of them so two pairs but first second day the one female died 
and about a week after that I didn't keep a lid on this tank by then that was stupid of course so I only have myself to blame two of them jumped out one male and one female so I only have one male now I really like him so I paired him up with a wild endler female and the results are some real nice looking endlers hard to focus on this small fish when they move all the time but they look pretty cool got a bunch of them and we have some fry not a lot but just fun creating your own different kinds of endlers. You can see one there in the middle. So, I probably will take these guys out because I only have one female. So we don't have too many males on that female. So I will take my new endlers out and mix them with my other endlers. I keep all my endlers different colors mixed because I actually have a guy that doesn't care that I sell him mixed ones. I don't get more for keeping the line pure or anything. So that's fun for me. Really easy. Just mix all my endlers. So I can get all the colors and still I can just net them out and get money for them either way. So, my first tank. This was the tank that started the fish room in this apartment. And of course I have rescaped it ten times. So it hasn't been like this since I got it, but it's always nice with the background in the tank, even though it's a small tank. I think this is 19 gallons. It has a really good balance. This is the only tank I can go like 14 days without changing water. I probably could and a lot of the other tanks as well. I'm crazy so I change a lot of water but this tank I run sometimes 12 days 10 days 14 days no problem thread fin rainbows but they're all the rainbows in here the thread fins my own and the fork tails they're gonna look much better in a couple of months they just grow so slow I mean you saw this one is slightly bigger than an endler female and I started feeding the fry about five months ago I found this as a fry so then you can imagine they grow so slow that's why you need to deserve your rainbows I think that's why people like them they're a little bit expensive and the only reason is it takes a long time to grow them out they're not hard to keep and they're not hard to spawn. But you need to feed them for a long time to deserve the size. <laughs> so some people don't like black rose shrimp because they can throw out pretty much anything. But look. I found two more yesterday. Really bright yellow shrimp. Just wanted to show you guys before I take this tank down. I waited a day, let the water clear up, catching up a few more shrimps. So I can recommend to get black rose shrimp. I think it's really cool that you can get all colors from one shrimp, especially if you want a lot of shrimp tanks can just have one black rose shrimp and start up with and then throw all the red rileys in one tank, the blue in one tank and yellows in another 
and red ones and brown ones so I actually took the tank down in the hallway with the shrimps I don't think I can have my 62 gallon cube in front of the windows like that so I'm gonna put that tank in the hallway instead and I talked a lot about in the video high quality goldfish food but I didn't announce what I use so I'm gonna do that real quick now and these food are good for all fish that that is omnivores or uh, herbivores so uh, African cichlids and stuff like that so first of all we have rapashi super green really good food this is great when you want to feed your fish a lot but you don't want to do heavy water changes all the time it's almost only green stuff in this so it, it won't contaminate the water as much and for color new black spectrum ultra red is really good I know a lot of youtubers have uh, sponsors and they usually have new black spectrum but this stuff is for real I don't have any sponsors and this is really good for color but then of course my old favorites that I've been using for a long time for my goldfish Saki Hikari's advanced sinking pellets extreme color enhancing and color enhancing they also have a green bag that is pretty much the same as these two but more vegetables in it I usually buy that too but I'm out right now so thank you so much for watching Zach Swimtails uh, tell me in the comment section what you think about it or if you want me to add something but it's gonna be different each time it's gonna be a bunch of videos me working in the fish room put together in one long video and please help me by sharing the video and put a thumbs up on the video if you like the video and if it's your first time watch the other swim tales and please subscribe to my channel if you want to support what I do here so thank you so much and have a good Sunday fish lovers bye bye